To maintain the system, you'll first need a fully charged battery and that is maintained at full capacity. Next, you're gonna check the terminals at the battery, the control switch, and in the system for corrosion and if they're loose or damaged. Pay special attention to the motor leads under the chassis as these are actually exposed to dirt and debris from the road. Most electrical system issues are caused by poor ground connections. We recommend utilizing star washers on your ground wires to ensure a solid contact to the chassis. In the event that your unit sits for a few months straight, you're gonna want to run the room all the way out and all the way back in a couple times a month. And this is going to keep your seals and all the moving parts lubricated. Now on the electrical system here, you're gonna wanna check your stop can, your gear packs, the gear track on the inner arm here, and the cross shaft for any dirt and debris or external damage. If you have a squeaky gear pack, you're going to have to lubricate it. Let's take a look closer at an actual gear pack and I'll show you exactly where to lubricate it. So here we have a gear pack that I've pulled off a unit just so you can take a look at the parts a little bit closer. Now, if you have a squeaky gear pack, you're gonna to wanna to use dry silicone, no grease, no regular silicone. Now let's pull this apart a little bit and take a little bit closer look exactly where you're gonna lubricate it. Now, what you're gonna do on the unit is you're gonna loosen these two main mounting bolts for the gear pack just a little bit so you can have access to the drive shaft. Now, to lubricate the drive shaft on the gear pack, you're going to take this red straw and get that all the way down inside there and lubricate the drive shaft at the point of contact of these side plates, the wheels, and the spur gear. Now, here's what you don't do. You don't lubricate the wheels or the spur gear at all. Once you get those points lubricated, you're gonna wanna then tighten those mounting bolts back up and run the room out a couple times. That way, that lubrication works its way into the drive shaft.